hello my babies and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel um yeah ignore how i look um my morning has been slightly busy as fuck and just a little all over the place and i'm also just getting back from the gym okay i got a birthday coming up and i plan on looking mad good turning 25 so you know this is what the title says it is you already know what the fuck is going on my lock journey so far you know basically from day one all the way up until my two month anniversary which just passed and yeah so also um i'm not doing a video for my little fitness journey or whatever um if i think to do it i will of course i document everything just for my own sake because you know i am documenting it though just to keep up with my progress or whatever i'm not doing anything super intense you know i do my stretches my yoga whatever a little bit of like actual tummy focused workouts but i've only done that for like one day the rest of the days have just been me hitting the treadmill but this video isn't about that and i just caught myself rambling so let's move on so yes please enjoy watching my journey so far and yeah you know you know i don't know hey y'all okay so just to get into it so here i am on christmas day man the lead up to me deciding to lock my hair is insane as you can read on the tiktok i put the mini twist in as like a last minute decision because i had had full locks in and i took them out and i didn't know what to do with my hair after i had washed it and everything so i put the mini twist in just to have it in something protective and it was looking a little too good and i mean i have been going back and forth about locking my hair since like 2018 2019 so i said why the fuck not just do it you know like i don't got shit else to do so like why not just try it but yeah so you know buddy friend How excited are you? Right, but yeah, if you follow me on TikTok, then you definitely know that I will not shut the fuck up once I really, like, first put these bitches in. Like, I swear to God, I think I posted something about them every day for at least, at least my first week, and I'm really not kidding. This is my first time, like, you know, trying to style and make that regular real feel for them and stuff. Like, it was still new to me, so it was still cute to me, and this is my second real style, you know. It is what it is. Um, I believe this was my first time, like, doing a full moisturized routine on them once I first put them in I believe yeah that it has to be like my first time like actually come up with a whole moisturizing routine for them and like actually doing it because before then it was just like a little spritz of water here and there but I was really dressed out and you know so gotta handle that accordingly and plus I just don't want my hair to be like super duper dry like i know you know they're gonna be a little dry but they ain't gotta be dusty looking or okay, whatever but yeah and then speaking of moisturizing them um y'all will be getting an updated video on that because i have adjusted how i moisturize them now it's a journey in itself obviously the same as just being natural is a journey in itself so you gotta work what works what don't work whatever you'll see like way way later not now but i'm gonna just go ahead and bring it up way later um that's when the build up started to show and i mean obviously you know you know um build up is what i'm really trying to avoid a little bit like as much as possible so yeah my moisturizing routine has been adjusted according to that or like i guess now what i feel like my hair needs and everything like that so it is it's not too different but it's slightly different y'all still with a video and everything i've been having this time in my life documenting these little things oh yeah the little shrimpy one that you saw right you're gonna see also way later not now because um i let her do her own thing like for the most part i literally did not touch her up until the retwist the last retwist i just did which is again way later y'all gonna see that in a second but i'm just talking about it right now just to talk through it because this is a bunch of you know nothingness but the little shrimpy one i had up front and I had two shrimpy ones in the back. They just weren't really shrimpy at first, but they started to get that way, you know, once I started washing them and stuff like that. But okay, like you'll see, this is my first like retwist, so this was my first like wash day and everything for them. The ones in the back, they were not like it's two at the nape of my neck. They weren't bad or whatever. I don't know if y'all would be able to tell, but they weren't bad or whatever until my second wash day. 
which I will see later. But the little shrimpy one up front, I do have um, a lock crochet needle set or whatever that I got from Amazon for like eight dollars. I got it because um, if you don't know my um, boyfriend, he has locks or whatever. He started his lock journey before mine. Um, and his two up front, his hair was like really, really soft up there and coiling it was not helping like two strand twist was not helping and he didn't want to do the braid thing or whatever so I got the crochet needle kit and so I insta locked them basically just so you know they can be a little bit more durable and everything like that for him but anyway long story short I did the insta lock thing on that little shrimpy one up front and the two in the back that you will see in a second but um but yeah this, when I say this is the best decision I ever did, like when I say I was not sure about doing it, I really wasn't sure. And honestly, I wish I would have been sh more sure sooner because like this is the best thing I could have ever done. I've never been so confident and comfortable in my natural hair ever in my life. And I really, like, I really cannot stress that enough. Like, if you know me in real life or whatever, you know that I've gone through a lot with my hair. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Like, a bitch ain't never been scared to chop her shit off. She ain't never been scared to dye it. She ain't never been scared to do nothing. Like, my hair has just literally been one of the pinnacles of me expressing myself. But it was like, I would express myself and still not be comfortable, if that makes sense. But I just want to jump in right here. So this, I moisturized my hair this time, right? And peep that build up, bro. Like, oh my goodness. Like, when I tell you my heart dropped, bitch, hell no. Hell fucking no. But I was... I was not, not into that. So I got Isha to take a video of my head just so I can see like where it was bad at or whatever. So I tried to insert like the best parts of it that I could insert in here just so y'all could like see it very clearly and everything like that. But yeah, it wasn't like terrible, but bitch, either fucking way, I was not having it. But anyway, so here I am. This is my second wash day. Um, I only want to really wash my hair on my anniversary day if I can help it that's just what is going to make it easier for me but I decided to do it early right here because that build up I was not into it and plus um I had I thought I had somewhere to be the following weekend so I wouldn't have had time but those plans got you know canceled this that and the third whatever but I wasn't mad that I did this early because yeah but look at him look at him he was doing his hair that same day too but yeah so he was just picking it all out of my hair the best way that he could i'm just glad it wasn't super duper build up so that it was easy for him to help me because a bitch was sweating okay i was sweating i was scared because i was oh no build up is just not something that i just if i can avoid it i want to and i'm learning at the same time so you know I know now that my hair needs something different, <laughs> that's why I've changed everything, but yeah, he did a really good job though, I was so grateful, I think I said thank you like 50 million times, but here I am the next day, right, um, these are, this is me showing the ones in the back that you can see are now shrimpy, and then even the one up front, she was still holding on from before, but I just took my crochet hooks and did what I had to do. I didn't show all of them, but you can just see with the retwist that I did that, you know, everything is so much fucking better now. Especially those two in the back. Like, I didn't even know they was looking like that for real. And I even asked Isha, and he was like, bro, they was not looking like that when I was washing your hair. Like, not that bad or whatever. So I'm just assuming it was just a whole bunch of leftover shredded hair, maybe. Like, whatever. It is what it is. Either way. I use that shirt here to help make my damn locks back there. So I got three locks that are interlocked, and the rest of them started with mini twists. But yes, girl, look at me. You look like I'm so fucking cute. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life on this journey so far, but like, for, I don't know, for me to really be too much deep, and I'm just really having my just best life ever with my hair right now it's just it's just it means a lot to me because like i already said i've struggled with loving my natural hair like finna be fucking 25 in april and like this is the most i've ever looked at my hair and like just been completely infatuated with it just completely engulfed in love like i just i am obsessed with my hair and here i am with two more fucking ways for you that pretty much wraps this up so i'm gonna do the rest of my talking um on screen <laughs> but yeah like that's literally it um 
I I don't know, but I'm just I'm loving this or whatever. Like don't don't look at her right now. She's dry and shit right now, but cause a bitch been busy. But I'm gonna handle her when I get to her. But yeah, um, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. And um, for the most part, I felt nothing but love literally like throughout this whole decision that I have made. Like the only parts where I guess I felt a little down or worried was just when the i peeped the little shrimpy one up here for the first time and then the build up and then the the shrimpies i had in the back but like it wasn't like oh my god like you know or whatever for me to be two months in like swear to god i'm only i'm just now getting to the point where i'm comfortable with leaving the house with them like just down like out like just doing whatever like i did it i did it before of course in the when i first started and everything like that but like it was kind of hard i'm not gonna lie it was kind of hard because i guess i just had to get look used to the look of it because like hey, like i mean all i got is face like the fugs was just like like not literally all i got is face but you know what i'm saying like when your hair is just kind of like not the main attraction anymore like for me let me say that for me because before i decided to do all this my hair stayed done like i've always done my own box braids twists faux locks whatever like literally whatever i had my few moments here and there where i did wigs like my i was very much up on my hair and it was very stressful to me like trying to figure out oh what i want to do my hair whatever when i knew deep down inside i just wanted to wear my natural hair i think i wore mini twists for like two three months straight like all i did was just take the twist down wash my hair and put the twist back in i did that for like pretty much the whole summer and the relief that i felt doing that that kind of like you know nudged my shoulder like you should just fucking like your hair like just fucking do it and um i mean everybody that i had around me at the time was telling me the same thing and it was just like i don't know i was just scared so it's just like to see me now actually going through with it I'm just I'm loving it for myself and it's just like watching all the changes like because like some of them don't even look like twist anymore you can't tell but some of them don't look anything like twist anymore and I don't know if that's like considered them budding or whatever I don't know but it's just it's a hell of a process to watch and it's so fun and it's so interesting or whatever because how I feel on the inside is how I felt like watching Isha when I locked his hair like to because i'm the only one washing and retwisting his shit so it's like to see it week by week being able to take care of his hair and like watch it change and his set of locks is not the first set of locks i've taken care of like i've been starting and taking care of other people's locks and just hair in general since i was in high school so it's like i've always just been so captivated by just seeing the beauty in everybody else's hair and it's like to see it in my own is just liberating as fuck. So like, I really just love this for me. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up right here because a bitch gotta go. Bitch, I got a fucking ear infection. <laughs> I got a fucking ear infection and I gotta go pick up my subscriptions. I gotta go pick up my prescriptions anyway. And on that dumbass note, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I love you guys. And I want y'all to love yourselves and drink water. Bye. <laughs>